the temple served as a stargate of sorts, a place where you were able to jump in and out of time and space. For centuries, legends have spoken of mysterious portals used by gods and beings from other worlds in moving across realms, but these legends have often been dismissed as mere myth or the musings of ancient cultures. However, during a recent exploration by physicists in one of the most remote corners of the Earth, they found the impossible, a device that could open doorways to the stars. Could this discovery change everything we know about our place in the universe? And more importantly, who or what was meant to return through this gate? Join us as we unravel how physicists have just discovered the final ancient stargate hidden deep inside a jungle. Sri Lanka's Mysterious Stargate while many people associate the island of Sri Lanka with its rich culture, ancient history, and religious significance, it also holds a mystical secret that continues to captivate historians, archaeologists, and even UFO enthusiasts, the Sakwala Chakraya, also known as the Stargate. A stargate is thought to be a mysterious portal that connects Earth to distant parts of the universe, allowing humans to travel across the cosmos and interact with other intelligent beings. Some believe that the Sakwala Chakraya holds the key to unlocking this gateway, serving as a hidden code to access the Stargate. Located in the sacred city of Anuradhapura, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Sakwala Chakraya is nestled in the historic Ranmasu Uyana, also called the Golden Fish Park. This remarkable park is an ancient urban oasis covering 40 acres and is nestled between the Tisa Wewa Reservoir and the Isurumunia Rock Temple in the sacred city of Anuradhapura. For centuries, this park has served as a royal pleasure garden, though its exact origins remain a mystery. Visitors are often captivated by its beautifully carved rock bathing ponds, which showcase an impressive understanding of hydraulic technology and exquisite craftsmanship. The architecture here reflects a highly advanced building style that speaks to the skill and creativity of the people who once inhabited this space. The Sakwala Chakraya is a circular, six-foot-wide petroglyph carved onto a rock face within Ranmasu Uyana. The carvings display a series of unusual symbols and patterns, which have baffled experts for decades. Some believe it to be an ancient map or a cosmic diagram, while others consider it a portal to the universe's secrets, possibly connected to extraterrestrial visitors. Adding to its allure, the Stargate site is surrounded by other ancient ruins and three of Sri Lanka's most famous temples, intensifying its mysterious and spiritual significance. A fascinating detail near the Sakwala Chakraya is the presence of four seats placed directly in front of the diagram. This arrangement hints that the chart might have been intended for use by four individuals, possibly working together to operate or activate the Stargate. This arrangement raises questions about how ancient civilizations might have understood space travel and their place in the universe, sparking wonder and curiosity about what knowledge they may have possessed. While traditional archaeologists attribute the carvings to ancient Sri Lankan culture, others suggest that the Sakwala Chakraya could be evidence of early extraterrestrial contact. This theory stems from the various unexplained sightings in the area over the years, with some locals claiming to have seen UFOs or celestial beings visiting the sacred stupas. Others believe these sightings are gods or spiritual entities coming to worship at these holy sites. Whether these stories are based on fact or folklore, they add an undeniable layer of intrigue to the Stargate's enigma. Interestingly, similar Stargates or ancient petroglyphs have been found in various parts of the world, such as in Egypt and South America. This global distribution of mysterious carvings further fuels the speculation that ancient civilizations might have been more connected, possibly even sharing knowledge of cosmic phenomena or extraterrestrial life. Before the internet era, the Sakwala Chakraya remained mostly unnoticed in Sri Lanka. Hidden away on the side of a large boulder, it survived long after the fall of the ancient Anuradhapura kingdom, blending into its majestic surroundings. Compared to the grand twin ponds and royal bathing pavilions nearby, the carved chart seemed rather ordinary. Yet, if extraterrestrials did visit Earth through this mysterious site, they certainly chose an ideal spot. These sacred temple grounds, draped in lush tropical jungle, are peaceful and mostly untouched by human activity. Today, they are carefully protected by authorities, 
preserving their ancient beauty and secrets. Exploring the Sakwala Chakraya. The site of the Sakwala Chakraya is located just beyond the northern confines of the Isurumunya Rock Temple, nestled at the foot of a ridge formed from a line of granitic rocks. This ridge, which extends through key areas of Anuradhapura, holds various historical landmarks, from monasteries to ancient tanks or reservoirs, like Tisavewa. As excavations in the area progressed, archaeologists uncovered remnants of ancient buildings, caves, and fine, stone-lined bathing ponds known as Pukuna, dating back to early Buddhist monastic settlements. One of the most intriguing aspects of the excavation site is the presence of cave shelters and structural buildings associated with the Isuramunia Sangharamaya, or possibly an adjoining sister monastery. While these ruins suggest later modifications, such as the introduction of brick and mortar constructions, the area still retains its ancient character. The isolated nature of the site, combined with its intricate features, suggests that it was once a significant spiritual or intellectual hub in the early Buddhist era. The Sakwala Chakraya itself is located on a steeply projecting rock face. At first glance, it appears to resemble a wheel or chakra, divided into multiple rectangular sections filled with small circles. The outermost band is decorated with depictions of fish-like and crab-like life, suggesting a connection to aquatic themes or perhaps the world of waters in Buddhist cosmology. At the center of the diagram is a large circle comprised of seven concentric rings. This central portion is divided by a square, which is further dissected by vertical and horizontal lines. These divisions create a series of quadrants, each containing additional subdivisions marked by circles and geometric figures. As the diagram progresses outward, the circles and lines form a more intricate pattern, with some panels displaying umbrella-like emblems, squares, and even phallic-like figures. The precision of the incisions and the complexity of the design have led many to speculate about its purpose. One prevailing theory is that the Sakwala Chakraya represents a cosmological map charting the Buddhist concept of the universe. The concentric circles at the center are thought to symbolize the Sakvala, the Buddhist universe, with the towering Mount Meru at its center, surrounded by seas and rock walls. The smaller circles scattered throughout the diagram could represent other worlds or realms within the cosmic order. In Buddhist cosmology, Mount Meru is an enormous mythological mountain that stands at the center of the physical and spiritual universe. Surrounding it are seven concentric seas and mountain ranges, which may be represented in the diagram by the concentric rings around the center of the chakra. The sun and moon, thought to be located in the second set of strips, flank the Sakvala, while other realms and worlds are represented by quadrisected circles scattered throughout the design. Outside these divisions lies a four-inch wide band that encircles the entire diagram, with a variety of subtle symbols that are difficult for the untrained eye to discern. Among these symbols are what appear to be kites, wavy lines, cylindrical shapes, bows and arrows, and even umbrellas. These elements, arranged in such a detailed and delicate manner, suggest that the carving was made with significant care and precision. What is perhaps most intriguing is the inclusion of marine life forms in the outer ring of the chart. Seahorses, turtles, and fish are depicted within the design, but their exact meaning remains unclear. These figures could symbolize water and life, or perhaps they hold a deeper cosmological significance that scholars have yet to uncover. Such imagery, combined with the chart's geometric precision, gives rise to speculation that the carving may have served a purpose far beyond what is currently understood. While the Sakwala Chakraya is often interpreted as a cosmological map, other theories abound. Some believe it could have been used as a meditation aid, guiding monks in visualizing the structure of the universe as part of their spiritual practices. Others suggest it could have served as an astronomical chart or even a map of ancient trade routes. The inclusion of marine life, for instance, could point to the significance of water-based travel and exploration in ancient times. The Sakwala Chakraya's isolated location within a small cave under a boulder adds to the mystery. This cave, one of several in the area, 
was likely used as a shelter by monks or hermits seeking solitude for meditation and study. The presence of such an intricate diagram within this secluded environment suggests that it may have held deep spiritual or intellectual significance for its creators. The discovery of the Sakwala Chakraya, along with the surrounding ruins, sheds light on the advanced astronomical and cosmological knowledge that existed in ancient Sri Lanka. The diagram's unique features, such as its precise geometry and symbolic elements, reflect a sophisticated understanding of the universe that was likely influenced by Buddhist teachings and philosophies. Charting the Cosmos The first academic to note the Sakwala Chakraya's significance was H. C. P. Bell, a British civil servant and the first commissioner of archaeology for Ceylon, Ceylon being Sri Lanka's colonial name. Bell's involvement with the artifact began in the early 20th century when he published a report in 1911 describing the chart. He referred to it as an ancient map of the world, potentially one of the oldest known to humanity. While the diagram does not resemble a modern map in the conventional sense, Bell interpreted its concentric circles, symbols, and marine imagery as a representation of the Buddhist understanding of the universe. In his assessment, the chart was a cosmographical depiction of Earth, the seas, outer space, and the greater cosmos. Bell was intrigued by the Buddhist monk's connection to astronomy and the ancient wisdom still preserved in Selenese monasteries. He speculated that the Sakwala Chakraya was a reflection of this esoteric knowledge. Although he did not claim the chart had any extraordinary function, Bell's analysis hinted at its importance in illustrating early Buddhist cosmology. However, for many decades, discussions about the Sakwala Chakraya remained mostly within academic circles, limiting public awareness of the artifact. In recent years, the Sakwala Chakraya has gained renewed attention, primarily due to the rise of photo sharing and online platforms. Visitors from around the world, intrigued by the chart's unusual design, began to draw parallels between it and other ancient carvings found across the globe, many of which are linked to Stargate theories. Proponents of these theories suggest that the chart may not be merely an ancient depiction of the universe, but could hold the key to unlocking a portal to the stars, a gateway through which humans might access the broader universe. While these ideas remain speculative, they have sparked widespread interest, attracting both believers in the paranormal and scholars eager to explore the chart's mysteries. Current research places the creation of the Sakwala Chakraya sometime around the 7th century AD, aligning with a significant phase of development in Anuradhapura's history. During this period, the city was expanding and new structures were being added to the serene gardens of Ranmasu Uyana. The timing suggests that the chart could be part of the architectural and cultural evolution of the site. However, no historical records, including those from Buddhist monks who meticulously documented other aspects of life in Anuradhapura, make reference to the Sakwala Chakraya or provide any insight into its purpose. This absence of documentation has only deepened the mystery. Further research and analysis of the carving reveal that its iconography is unlike any other known artifact from the Anuradhapura period, which spanned 500 years, the 3rd to 10th centuries AD. The chart's design does not match other carvings from the same era, which are typically more straightforward and religious. In contrast, the Sakwala Chakraya is filled with abstract symbols and shapes that defy easy interpretation. As research on this ancient chart progresses, the hope is that new discoveries will shed light on its role in Sri Lanka's history and perhaps its connection to the stars. The mystery lingers, inviting further exploration and imagination. Ancient Wisdom and Engineering Marvels Recent interpretations suggest that the Sakwala Chakraya carving resembles modern electrical diagrams. The concentric circles might represent electromagnetic waves, while shapes that look like satellite antennas and circuit components have led to theories proposing that this ancient carving could serve as an electrical blueprint. While these ideas may seem unusual, the striking similarity between the symbols and contemporary technical diagrams has captured attention. Moreover, some researchers entertain the possibility that ancient civilizations might have harnessed electricity, though this remains a speculative idea. 
Adding to the intrigue are local legends that claim the Sakwala Chakraya is a stargate, a gateway to other realms in the universe. According to Sri Lankan epics, this stargate allowed deities to travel between Earth and distant cosmic destinations. Many believe that the carving contains a hidden code that, once activated, could open this portal. Some tantric Buddhist monks still meditate before the carving, hoping to unlock its mysterious powers. While mainstream science often dismisses these theories, paranormal researcher Praveen Mohan contributed to the enigma in 2019 by detecting unusual energy emissions from the carving using an EMF detector. Further investigations into Anuradhapura reveal that its ancient builders had exceptional knowledge of astronomy. An earlier study in 1996 by Mihindukula Surya Susanta Fernando showed that three of the city's main stupas were aligned with stars in the Orion constellation. This remarkable astronomical precision extended to the nearby Ranmasu Uyana, where the Sakwala Chakraya is located. Archaeologists discovered that this park served as an astronomical calendar, with stone structures designed to track the sun and stars, marking the solar year and predicting significant astronomical events. The big question still lingers. How did the ancient builders of Anuradhapura gain such advanced knowledge? Their skills went far beyond just understanding the stars. This region is renowned for its incredible engineering achievements, particularly its sophisticated hydraulic system. This remarkable system managed water for various needs, including farming, drinking, and even the lush royal gardens. It was made up of a network of interconnected reservoirs, canals, and innovative valve pits, which are still admired today as a blueprint for modern water management. As Sri Lanka grapples with the challenges of climate change, researchers are turning their attention to this ancient hydraulic system, seeking inspiration and solutions to today's water management problems. The wisdom of these early builders offers valuable lessons, demonstrating how their ingenious designs can inform our efforts to navigate the complexities of water usage in a changing world. Archaeological evidence indicates that Anuradhapura was home to a flourishing settlement long before the empire officially took shape. This discovery invites fascinating questions about the origins of this advanced civilization and the sources of its extensive knowledge. A potential clue can be found in the ancient South Asian epic, the Ramayana, composed between the 8th century BCE and the 3rd century CE. This epic narrates the adventures of the Indian prince Rama and his confrontation with the evil king Ravana of Lanka. While the Ramayana paints Ravana as the antagonist, local Sri Lankan narratives portray him quite differently, as a remarkable leader of a highly developed society. Legends describe Ravana as a brilliant scholar, an innovative inventor, and a celebrated scientist who explored fields such as medicine and astrology. He was said to have possessed extraordinary technologies, including the Pushpaka Vimana, a flying chariot likened to a radiant cloud. His era is characterized by great wealth, with tales suggesting that even the most impoverished families dined from golden vessels. In Sri Lankan culture, Ravana is not merely a mythological figure, but a historical king believed to have ruled around 7,000 years ago, according to the Ramayana. This prompts an intriguing question. How could Ravana have accessed such advanced technologies, flying machines, cures for ailments, and astronomical wisdom far ahead of his time? Some theorists argue that the answers may lie within the remarkable archaeological sites surrounding Anuradhapura. These sites featured intricate systems vital for irrigation, flood control, and supporting a growing urban population, organizational skill. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Deep within the heart of a dense jungle, a team of physicists embarked on an expedition that would change everything they knew about ancient civilizations. Armed with cutting edge technology and an insatiable curiosity, they followed whispers of a colossal circular opening rumored to lie hidden within the mountains. After days of navigating tangled vines and treacherous terrain, they finally stood before the massive stone structure its surface intricately engraved with symbols that seemed to pulse with energy. As they studied the markings, Dr. Pamela Rodriguez, the lead physicist, felt a surge of excitement. The designs resembled those found in ancient texts, describing a portal that connected realms. 
With a deep breath, she activated their equipment, and the air around them shimmered. To their astonishment, a low hum resonated from the stone, and a vibrant light emerged from the center of the circular opening. Could this be the key to understanding lost technologies and ancient knowledge? As the light enveloped them, the jungle around them began to fade, revealing glimpses of distant stars and swirling galaxies. In that moment, they realized they were not merely explorers of Earth. They were on the brink of unlocking the universe's secrets. Physicists discovered the final ancient stargate. Hidden inside a jungle, what could this ancient gateway lead them to? Other worlds, forgotten histories, or even the answers to humanity's greatest mysteries? Stargates of the Ancients The idea that the Sakwala Chakraya could be a stargate is bolstered by comparisons to other ancient sites, such as Abu Ghraib in Egypt and La Puerta de Hayumarca in Peru. These sites possess similar celestial connections to the Sakwala Chakraya, Abu Ghraib, located near the famous Giza pyramids in Egypt, is rich in ancient history and mystery. Known as the Sun Temple, it features a platform made of alabaster stone, which is believed to have had a unique energetic purpose. Some researchers have pointed out that the shape and alignment of structures at Abu Ghraib share similarities with Sakwala Chakraya. Like the site in Sri Lanka, Abu Ghraib is situated near water, in this case, the Nile River. The notion that ancient Egyptians may have also been extracting gold from water aligns with their well-documented expertise in mining and metallurgy. Could these ancient sites have been connected by a common purpose? In Peru, La Puerta de Hayu Marca, literally, the Gate of the Gods, is another site shrouded in mystery. Carved into a rock face, it resembles a door that leads to nowhere. The Inca people, who inhabited the region, believed it was a portal to the afterlife. The symbolic resemblance between La Puerta de Hayumarca and Sacuala Chacraya is striking, both featuring large, circular structures often interpreted as gates or doorways. Theories about these sites go beyond their physical features. La Puerta de Hayumarca is also located near a significant body of water, Lake Titicaca, adding another layer to the water-based gold processing theory. The recurring theme of water in these ancient sites ties into a broader hypothesis about advanced knowledge in gold extraction. Modern science has revealed that certain water bodies, particularly rivers and oceans, contain trace amounts of gold. If ancient civilizations had access to technology or techniques that allowed them to efficiently extract gold from water, this would explain why so many significant sites are located near large bodies of water. But what role does the symbolism of stars and celestial bodies play in this theory? Many of these ancient sites, including Sakwala Chakraya, Abu Ghraib, and La Puerta de Hayu Marca, feature symbols that could be interpreted as representations of star maps or cosmic gateways. Could it be that these civilizations were not only concerned with earthly matters such as gold, but also had a deeper understanding of the universe and its workings. Adding to the mystique of Sakwala Chakraya is the nearby Danagala Mountain, often referred to as Alien Mountain. Nestled in the verdant landscape of Aralaganwila, near the ancient city of Polonarua, Danagala Mountain captivates the imagination with its unusual circular shape and the myriad tales of extraterrestrial encounters associated with it. Standing at 280 meters, this striking geological formation resembles an airport, seemingly designed for alien spacecraft landings, further fueling the belief that it is a hotspot for UFO sightings. The allure of Danagala is amplified by its strange vegetation, which adds an air of mystery to the area. Surrounded by ancient temples and caves, the mountain is a treasure trove of Neolithic petroglyphs and symbols that defy identification with known Sri Lankan cultures. These engravings have prompted a deeper investigation into the region's prehistoric significance, drawing attention from archaeologists and historians alike. According to Dr. Saran Durrani Agala, the area's human habitation dates back an astonishing 125,000 years, suggesting a long history intertwined with the development of civilization. More remarkably, the symbols and images found within the caves are estimated to be over 300,000 years old 
highlighting a distinctive aspect of human evolution. These petroglyphs share similarities with ancient symbols discovered worldwide, sparking theories about early human communication and cultural exchange. Scholars have noted that certain petroglyphs on the northwest slope of Danagala bear resemblance to those found in the Chitralina petroglyphs in Ampara district, as well as cave carvings in the Kagal and Karunagala districts. Some researchers believe that these carvings represent ancient bind runes, connecting various symbols to create a complex language. Additionally, similarities between the Danagala carvings and those at the Etiquil Caves in Kerala, India, underscore the potential for cross-cultural ties across the region. In addition to the fascinating carvings, the area surrounding Danagala is rich in archaeological finds, with about 70 caves from the 2nd century identified in the vicinity. Among these caves lies a colossal reclining Buddha statue, measuring 11.8 meters tall, which has unfortunately fallen victim to treasure hunters over the years. These caves also contain inscriptions that reference historical figures, including King Sadatissa and his son, alongside the names of various donors who contributed to the cave's maintenance. A remarkable discovery made in 2020 unveiled a new set of petroglyphs, described as hieroglyph-like symbols. This find, conducted by a team led by astrobiologist Aravindu Ravi Sumanaratna, further enriched our understanding of the area's historical significance. The array of symbols, including incomprehensible runic figures and anthropomorphic depictions, appears to communicate a complex narrative that may hold the key to understanding ancient astronomical knowledge. Locally, Danagala is steeped in folklore, with some believing it served as Ravana's Aviation Administration Building, a nod to the legendary king of Sri Lanka, often associated with advanced technologies and mythical feats. The mountain's strategic elevation provides a broad field of view, which some theorize could have facilitated communication with aircraft, whether terrestrial or extraterrestrial. Intriguingly, hints of an ancient elevator and tunnel system have been reported, potentially linking Danigala to Wariapola and beyond. This network raises questions about the mountain's purpose and the advanced capabilities of the people who once inhabited the region. As we explore the peculiar topography surrounding Danigala, we confront numerous mysteries. How did this unique rock formation come to exist in such a breathtaking locale? What ancient knowledge might the petroglyphs convey? While definitive answers remain elusive, the narrative woven into these ancient sites, a blend of geological marvels, historical intrigue, and the perennial human fascination with the unknown, invites us to ponder the possibilities that lie beyond our understanding. Ancient Insights into Astronomy and Architecture while many speculate the cosmological implications of Sakwala Chakraya, scholars like Raj Somadeva propose a more grounded interpretation, suggesting that it may represent an early world map rather than a gateway to the stars. Somadeva, an archaeologist from the University of Sri Lanka, presents a compelling argument against the Stargate theory. He asserts that the available archaeological evidence does not support such a fantastical notion. There is little archaeologically to suggest that it's a stargate, he remarks. Instead, he points to historical precedents, suggesting that the chart could serve as a rudimentary representation of the world. According to Somadeva, this interpretation aligns more closely with the religious and cosmological context of ancient Sri Lanka. The evidence supporting Somadeva's claim is rich and intriguing. He references early Brahmi inscriptions, which date back to at least 250 BCE, highlighting that Sri Lankans possessed a sophisticated understanding of celestial objects and astronomy. One such inscription, found at Kirinda, a significant religious site on the southern coast, includes the phrase, Aparimita Loka Datuya, meaning the infinite universe. This phrase suggests that its creator had a profound comprehension of the universe and its vastness. Sahan Pereira, a local archaeologist, underscores the unique features of Sakwala Chakraya. According to Pereira, the four sculpted rock seats near the chart provide an ideal vantage point for observing the surrounding landscape. These features raise questions about the site's functionality. Were they designed for religious meditation, or did they serve more practical purposes? The debate continues. Shireen Almendra, a senior lecturer of landscape design at the University of Moratua, adds another layer to this discussion. 
She proposes that the Sakwala Chakraya might have served as a blueprint for a complex architectural project, akin to the majestic stupas being constructed during that era. Almendra draws parallels to Sigiriya, a renowned ancient fortress in Sri Lanka, completed in the 5th century BCE. Given that the three seats carved in front of the chart appear to slightly face toward each other, it makes me think that it was a place for discussion, an ancient architect's office if you like, she suggests. This perspective shifts the focus from the celestial to the terrestrial, framing the chart as a potential tool for planning rather than as a means of cosmic exploration. If the seats were intended for religious purposes, she argues, they would likely be arranged in a straight line, favoring meditation over conversation. Yet, despite these intriguing theories, a significant challenge remains, the lack of concrete evidence to accurately date the Sakwala Chakraya. While other historical sites in Anuradhapura have been documented in chronicles and inscriptions dating as far back as 250 BCE, the chart itself does not appear in any known historical records. Somadeva notes, there would definitely have been a practical use for this diagram, but it's a huge challenge to figure out what that might have been when we can't correctly date it. This gap in historical documentation adds an air of mystery to the Sakwala Chakraya. Could it be that this ancient chart holds secrets yet to be unveiled? As scientists and historians continue to explore its origins, the allure of its enigmatic design only deepens. In recent years, the Sakwala Chakraya has garnered a cult following among science fiction enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists who are drawn to its mystique and potential connections to extraterrestrial phenomena. However, the romanticized notions of the Sakwala Chakraya as a stargate or portal to other worlds should not overshadow its potential historical significance. As researchers like Somadeva emphasize, it could be a vital artifact that sheds light on the religious and cosmological beliefs of ancient Sri Lankans. Rather than a gateway to the stars, the chart might reflect humanity's age-old desire to understand the universe and its place within it. What do you think we would discover if we could unlock the secrets of stargates and explore the realms beyond our own? Let us know your opinion in the comments below.